welcome back to Josh Moda Pro, the show where I treat my life like a real life let's play in my attempt to get from the realms of semi-pro to professional football. So far, it's been a long and windy journey. The Triad Outlaws opened up our season completely defeated. We started off 0-5, but then, slowly but surely, we decided we were going to start turning things around. On week 6, when a small but dedicated group of us traveled up to Virginia to upset the Royals, one of the top 5 teams in the league. This spurred a comeback train that, while not flawless, was enough to earn us a play-in spot for the playoffs where we are today, with the 3-6 and six Trad Outlaws rematching the team we played 2 weeks ago to even get here. Now last time we played, it was a one-sided match. We shut out their offense and did enough of our own offense to win 18 to 0. Coming back today, I decided to rock the all navy look because I knew we were going with the red tops, so I knew it looked pretty clean. Our offense came out the gate striding pretty well, and the tone was clear. Even if we didn't score on the first drive, we could tell who was the hammer and who was the nail. I found myself out there for the first time of that drive with a ball on the plus 45 yard line, and I knew exactly what time it was. Guys. I busted out the pitching wedge with a nice soft bounce to pin the ball on the 12 yard line. I may have played it a hair too safe, but at this point things would devolve for a couple of punts, so just strap in. We get the ball back and go three and out once again, and I see us lining up at the 38 yard line. I have a slight breeze at my back, and I was absolutely demolishing balls during the warm up. I was thinking about how I was going to crush this ball, and well, you'll just see. Left side, left side, left side. That's where they're coming. Mother. Yep, it slipped out of my hands. I watched this play on the sideline no less than 40 times. I mean, my entire career, I have dropped exactly one snap. And it was when our QB had just fallen on it, so it was slick and just slipped through my hands after being a little high and a little left. Here, it was in my hands and just... Like I said, just dropped out. But our defense immediately got us the ball back, but man, did that play suck. Things would turn around though as we'd start revving our engine on offense. We were able to put together two scoring drives and convert the two point conversions both times. The first one making the score going into halftime 14-0. The second half, it'd be a little bit more of the same and it wasn't long until I'd be back out. As I was looking though, I noticed something not so good. Ah, fuck! Get to my hand, bro. Relax. I'm playing. Hey, I gotta point it out, bro. You know I need that. <laughs> they were bringing three men on both sides, and we only had two blockers. As I was catching the snap, I had another scenario where I had to just get the ball off to avoid a block. So that was a pretty annoying two-punt situation back-to-back. -back. But we went to the sideline and made sure that that wasn't going to happen again. It had backup plans for in case it did. Luckily, we'd score one more time, and then at the start of the fourth quarter, I'd get my last punt of the day. It's bouncing left! It's bouncing left! Right into his hands. Just a nice little 40 yard, 4.9 second punt to pin them inside the 10. From here, our team would go on to win the game 22 to zero, which means next week, it's time to go take on the number one seed in the playoffs, the Sumter Sharks, in my journey from Joe Schmo to pro.